This edition of WeatherScope is sponsored by your Honda dealer, who invites you to test drive the all-new 200-horsepower 1998 Accord V6, an Accord like no other. This is WeatherScope. You face lots of stormy weather in the eastern half of the country this weekend. And today, severe weather is a possibility in the southeast. And some heavy rain and gusty winds are also playing the eastern seaboard. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bruce Edwards, and welcome to the Saturday edition of WeatherScope. We've got full details on the situation, and a Weather Channel crew is standing by in New York City. Here's Rick Griffin, though, in our forecast center with more details on the soggy east. Rick? Good morning to you, Bruce. Thanks a lot. Well, the heaviest rain right now still centered in Virginia and West Virginia, while some of the strongest winds reported in the last hour are buffeting the New Jersey coastline and the New York City area, and the wind is projected to get even stronger as the day unfolds, as the low strengthens and it moves up the coastline. Well, let's get you up to date on the track of the storm so far. Of course, the system originated in the Gulf of Mexico yesterday, moved up into the uh, southeast, affected the uh, the weather for the trick-or-treaters in the southeast yesterday evening. Uh, now the storm center along the coast of the Carolinas and uh, from the coastal sections of North Carolina we first see the Friday evening position here. You know it was wet if you took your kids out around Atlanta and Macon and Birmingham. This morning here's the position of the storm. It is strengthening and by late today the storm center very close to New York uh, City. Rainfall amounts won't be extremely heavy, but they will be substantial, mainly in the one to two inch range, maybe as much as three inches in some of the favored areas inland, some of the high elevation locations like the Poconos, the Catskills, and the Berkshires. Well, we're live now in New York City with Mike Sedell. Mike, there appear to be a lot of people out, particularly joggers this morning, uh, as the rain picks up and the winds strengthen a little bit. What kind of reaction are you getting uh, with this wet stuff on this Saturday? Well, Rick, the locals are probably uh, dodging the raindrops, but the uh, runners kind of like this. It's cool. Uh, they'd rather not see the rain, but with temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60, that's pretty good running weather. Uh, this is kind of the tune-up for the marathon. It was the friendship run. We've got one of the runners here. This is J.D. Baca from uh, the Netherlands. And how long did you run this morning? This was seven kilometers. And you uh, started out? From the UN building. And there where did you run from there? And over Fifth Avenue and then through Central Park and then we were received here with uh, breakfast. That's not, that's not a bad deal. No, that, that was nice. Very friendly. And you'll be, you'll be running tomorrow, right? That's right. This uh, will be my uh, seventh marathon. And I started out with a 25th marathon in uh, 1994 in New York City also. Okay, we wish you the best of luck and uh, all the people from Holland. Okay. Thanks thank for joining us. So it's a wet Saturday here in New York City. Uh, we expect the rain and the wind to continue through today. Now, as far as the marathon goes tomorrow morning, there'll still be some showers around, but temperatures will basically hold between 55 and 60 for the next 24 hours. So a lot of the friendship runners are out uh, now relaxing, going back to their hotels and motels. Uh, by the way, it was only the international contingent of runners running in the friendship race. The uh, Americans were not supposed to be running, although we did see an American flag going through. We'll be uh, posted here and keeping you posted on the weather. Again, check ahead if you're flying out of the airports. There's a coastal flood watch in effect, too, and a high wind advisory. So a lot happening in New York, uh, and the weather certainly is uh, one of the stories this weekend. Back to you. It is indeed. Thank you very much. That's Mike Sadell in New York City. We'll check back with you soon. But we want to go now to the satellite picture. And the satellite, and as we put it into motion here, it's going to tell the story of the moisture-laden clouds heading fairly quickly up the eastern seaboard. Now the low pressure center is right about in here and we do expect it to move steadily northeast to be in the vicinity of New York City by this evening. Already in advance of the low, substantial widespread precipitation through this region with heavy rain at last report at Elkins, West Virginia and Martinsburg, West Virginia as well. Moderate rains continue from Chambersburg and Gettysburg and Pennsylvania over towards uh, New York City and the entire rain shield as you can see is advancing steadily in a northerly uh, direction. By the way, as I reminded you uh, last half hour, this is all liquid precipitation. If you have travel plans today, you're not going to have to worry about any snow or ice. That includes the high mountains like the Adirondacks, the Green Mountains, and the Presidential Range in northern New Hampshire. It's just simply too warm of a storm to provide any frozen precipitation whatsoever. As we uh, head south, we see a little light rain in North Carolina and some pretty good sized storms now tracking in to uh, west central and northwest Georgia. Two pockets of heavy rain from now to midnight southeast, 
And the northeast, where as I showed you, common rainfall amounts will be one to two inches, with isolated amounts of up to three inches possible, particularly in the higher terrain of eastern Pennsylvania, southeast New York, and uh, southern sections of uh, New England, like the Connecticut Hills and the Berkshires of uh, Massachusetts. One reason for that will be a southeasterly upslope wind, and that rising motion that you get on the east slopes of the Berkshires will enhance the precipitation. Notice the isobars are packed together. I want to go back and show you that we have a lot of wind, and the result of that has been um, the fact that we have a, a, a storm warning in effect, Eastport, Maine to Watch Hill, Rhode Island, and a gale warning, Boston Harbor, Narragansett Bay, Long Island Sound, and in Long Island Sound, a coastal flood warning has been posted. What we have there is an easterly wind, and at the time of high tide, moderate coastal flooding is a possibility. So with that in mind, let's head south. Let's go to the sunshine state of Florida, where the energy from this storm